Hi guys, uh, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, in this, we are going to see how to read a DICOM image and uh, see the values, the metadata contained in the DICOM images. So obviously, if you need to have uh, a DICOM image before you start getting any metadata out of it, so uh, I'm logged into my uh, MATLAB online. So in this, if you go to the current folder, you can see that I have this image. But if you do not have the DCM file, which is the DICOM file, you can go to the folder and drag it inside uh, your browser and then to the current folder. So now I already have these folders, so it is showing replace all. I will click cancel and then start. So basically to read any kind of image, we have two functions, IM read and uh, DICOM read so in this one we are going to use I am read to see if it works or not so I'll write IMG2 is equal to I am read and name the file which is in my folder that is q2.dcm the auto suggest suggest and here we go now to run this code we have two options again and that is uh, run or a run section so in this one I'm going to choose run section and let's see what happens when we do it so now you can see that there is an error in the im read function and that is because dcm files they cannot be read using the im read function and we need a dicom read function to do this so write img2 is equal to dicom read q2.dcm and then again run the function and let's see what happens so uh, as you can see the img2 uh, variable has now been created and it is a matrix uh, which is 432 by 432 that is the uh, size of the matrix that we can see so going forward now we have to show that this image has been opened or not so let us try we have two functions again one is im show and the other is image sc first try the im show function We'll write I am show bracket image two, then run it. So for running, we have another option that is the keyboard option of control plus enter. So I'll press control enter. And as you can see that this is a black image. So that is because DICOM images cannot be shown directly with the I am show function. And that is why we need a different function and that is called image sc as you can see the matrix has been loaded but the image cannot be seen so i'll change the function to image sc and rest is same press ctrl enter and now we can see that the image has been displayed on the output now coming to the main thing now we want to see what is the info about this image so for example uh, the patient details the machine details how it has been taken which is a very important part of the medical images so we'll use the function dicom info and we'll put dicom info bracket q2.dcm that is a file name and now we can see in the output uh, area this is the output so we can see the format we can see different kind of uh, patient details machine details and the sequence details um, date and how it has been created so basically all the all the uh, data which is related to the image that you can see in this one 